What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car track SUV reviews on YouTube. And today we are in the brand new 2024 Nissan Armada, courtesy of Younger Nissan in Frederick, Maryland. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. So we are in this one today because this is Nissan's largest SUV. It has a reliable V8 that has been in production now for eight years. So ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing so as you can imagine there are several different trim levels for the 2024 armada first one being the sv starting at fifty five thousand seven hundred and twenty dollars sl for fifty nine five forty midnight edition starting at sixty one five thirty and lastly the platinum being the one we are in today starting at sixty seven thousand seven hundred and ninety dollars by the way that was all pricing for the rear wheel drive configuration if you wanted to add four wheel drive you can do that simply add three thousand dollars then to any of those prices but regardless of trim level the power plant on the armada is going to be the same powering this beast is a 5.6 liter naturally aspirated v8 putting out 400 horsepower at 5800 rpm 413 pound feet of torque coming in at 4000 rpm power sent to rear wheels or all wheels through a seven speed automatic zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 5.8 seconds with mpg numbers coming in at 14 in the city 19 on the highway for the rear wheel drive 13 city 18 then on the highway for the all wheel drive taking premium unleaded fuel and so before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in the armada i did want to mention to you guys the drive mode there is a circular dial silver circular dial just to the right of the shifter those two drive modes will include tow and snow so having now got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find it straight away let's put the acceleration let's put the v8 here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2024 armada here up to speed all right here is our straightaway in three Two, one, go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this thing moves. <laughs> this thing, this thing moves, man. For a massive SUV as it is, I wasn't expecting that. It definitely doesn't feel like a slow vehicle whatsoever. It, actually, you can feel it in the pit of your stomach. So absolutely no issues emerging onto the highway. This thing is a beast both in size and under the hood. So wow, that actually surprised me. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So up front, you will find 13.8 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 13.8 inch rear discs. As far as that 60 is your stopping distance goes, that comes in at 124 feet, which is actually insanely impressive considering the size of this SUV. As far as braking feel goes, it feels just right. It's not a soft braking feel, but it's not a firm braking feel either by any means, but it feels just as you would want the Armada to feel like. And like I said, 60 zero and 124 feet, that's actually brilliant. Usually in SUVs like this, you find upper 130s for that 60 zero number. So 124 feet, that's like an average sedan. So absolutely no issues with that whatsoever. Then touching on suspension and handling, up front you're going to get an independent double wishbone type front suspension. In the back, independent double wishbone type rear suspension as well. Front and rear stabilizer bars, but also an auto leveling rear suspension to go along with all that. So overall, my short little test drive here today, this thing rides incredibly smooth. I'm just going to be honest, I didn't expect that either. So incredibly smooth ride in the Armada. Maybe it's because of its size, but yeah, definitely no issues there. As far as steering feel goes, it definitely leans on the heavier side of things, which you guys know, if you've seen my videos before, I do like. I like a heavy steering feel, and that is definitely the case here in the Armada. It's not a loose steering feel whatsoever. So as you traditionally do get with SUVs, so I actually really like that. So no issues there. As far as cabin noise goes, as we are going zero miles per hour at this red light right now. Now, honestly, when I was driving earlier, it was a very serene cabin as well. So, so far, this is feeling more like a luxury SUV. 100% and touching on rear visibility here I actually could see 100% perfectly fine out the back reason being out of my rear view mirror here is because that third row um, even if the third row is up the third row headrest they tuck down so you get excellent visibility if nobody is actually using those third row seats so you don't always get that so I absolutely love that so Nissan you're crushing it so far but anyways that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review you guys Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2024 
Nissan Armada. All right, so here she is, you guys. The new 2024 Nissan Armada finished in Aspen White. In case you were curious of our exact exterior color name that we had on this one with us here today. But as always, let's go ahead and start with where the Armada is made. Taking a look at the VIN, first character is the letter J, indicating that the 2024 Nissan Armada is built and assembled in Japan, as it should be. JDM SUV, but starting up front, V-Motion front grille, of course, will come standard, but the finish is gonna differ depending upon the trim level that you go with. So you're gonna get a chrome finish for that V-Motion front grille for all trim levels but the Midnight. That Midnight Edition is gonna give you the gloss black finish surrounding the grille there. But LED headlights with LED daytime running lights do come standard to the sides there. Automatic feature coming with them, along with automatic high beams. So if you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's gonna automatically automatically dim them back to low beams and when that vehicle is gone it's going to automatically bounce it back up to high beams for you there so very convenient feature i honestly love that one myself but led fog lights then coming on the sl trim level end up you guys can see those in the bottom corners there but anyways that pretty much rounds out the front end of this one let's now go ahead and make our way to the side all right so now since we are around to the side of the armada roof rails do come standard they're going to be finished in dark gray for all trim levels but that midnight edition midnight edition is going to finish them in black of course if you guys haven't noticed the theme yet everything's black but chrome window surrounds do come standard gloss black a pillar is going to be available as well chrome door handles coming standard to tie along with those chrome window surrounds of course you do actually get functional front fender vents let me see if i can get up a little closer to actually show you guys this because they actually do allow that v8 to breathe you guys probably can't tell on camera there but anyways it does let out some hot air from that v8 under the hood so they are actually functional so i love that rear privacy glass of course does come standard on the armada running boards actually all trim levels get that as well and i will say i have been using them so it is something that you actually will use with the armada seeing as it does sit up a little bit higher than most other suvs out there but then taking a look down at the wheel setup 18 inch 12 spoke aluminum alloys for the sv 20 inch 18 spoke aluminum alloys for the sl 20 inch 12 spoke aluminum alloys for the midnight edition and lastly 22 inch 14 spoke aluminum alloys for the platinum that's what you guys are looking at right now of course but that pretty much rounds out the side profile let's now go ahead and make our way to the back all right so but now since we are around to the back of the armada all the way to the top rear spoiler with an integrated brake light just below that rear window wiper of course you will find led taillights they do come standard for all trim levels across the board for added illumination at night there you're either going to get some gloss black or chrome trim tying together the two taillights the platinum is obviously going to give you the uh, chrome trim but midnight edition is going to give you that gloss black and there actually is a black package i forget what it's called but you can also get it that way if you wanted the gloss black accents but not the midnight edition trim level necessarily but just below it all you will find a single exhaust outlet kind of tucked away underneath under that passenger side there so having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next here as always here is that exhaust clip All right, so now since we are around to the back of the Armada, when it comes to opening that lift gate, it is a power lift gate for the SL trim leveling up if you wanted that. But there's a button on the key fob. Of course, there's a button on the lift gate itself then too. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 16.5 cubic feet behind that third row. Of course, if that was not enough space, there is a 60-40 split. There's actually some buttons in the cargo area to fold down the rear seats too, so that was pretty convenient. Bumping that up to 49.9 cubic feet. Then with all rows folded, that comes in at 92.6 cubic feet. So a little bit more than your average SUV. Like take, for example, the Kia Telluride comes in at 88 cubic feet, Hyundai Palisade, 87 cubic feet, and the Honda Pilot, uh, uh, Toyota Highlander, they all come in at around the same amount. So a little bit more than all of them, but eight car Cargo tie down hooks you can find back there. There's a 12 volt power outlet as well. Then if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you are going to find a little bit of in-floor storage. So I did like seeing that as well. But then making our way up to the third row legroom, that's gonna come in at 28.4 inches. For reference, I Mini 
even six feet tall. This is how much space I had in the third row. Also for reference, my old Ford Mustang GT had 29 inches. So my Mustang had more legroom than the third row in the um, Armada here. So that basically says it all right there. But cup holders do come standard for those third row passengers. And of course, you do have rear ventilation that's going to be found on the ceiling of the Armada here as well. But then make your way up to the second row legroom that comes in at 41 inches even for reference. I mean, even six feet tall still. This is how much space I have back there. So plenty of space for the second row passengers. I will say that 12 volt power outlet back there, but also a 120 volt power outlet for those second row passengers. That was pretty cool. For our platinum trim level that we have today, you also get heated rear seats. Absolutely love that. I do want to also mention there's this massive center console between the second row passengers there. There's a ton of storage within there. There's uh, cup holders, of course. There's even a little bit of hidden storage that you can pull out in the front of it then as well. And then also the second row passengers do have access to uh, the center armrest storage between the front two passengers by simply pressing a button. So a lot of storage in the Armada. I will definitely say that. But the only big thing for me for the second row passengers that I was missing, especially in an SUV like this, is some rear window sunshades. I am surprised that Nissan didn't add any of those, but then make your way up to the front seats. Leatherette seating coming with the SV trim level. Leather seating for the SL trim level and up. Heated front seats actually do come standard for every single trim level across the board, so you gotta love that. Power adjustable front seats with power lumbar, again, standard for all trim levels. Memory settings for up to two different drivers if you were to go with the SL trim level and up. And then our platinum trim is also going to add to that ventilated front seat seats if you wanted those but overall as far as seat comfort goes it was actually plenty comfortable i love the quilted leather as well a very high-end feel to it so in my short little test drive here today at least absolutely no issues when it comes to seat comfort here in the armada but then taking a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is power adjustable for all trim levels across the board it is also leather wrapped for all trim levels across the board and if you were to go with the platinum like we have today it is going to be heated then as well so then make your way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here you got your nissan logo all the way to the top you got lock unlock the button to pop the tailgate there and that circular button that is going to be a remote start that does come standard but also keyless entry with a push button start of course comes standard so all i'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee and so once started up when it comes to the gauges tachometer is all the way to your left speedometer is on your right and there is a digital screen front and center to control what is on there there are steering wheel mounted controls found on the left side of the steering wheel there that gives you a ton of different things you could choose to display a digital speedometer readout if you wanted to of course there's trip a trip b how many miles you have left until you hit empty there's speed limit recognition technology displayed up there also outside temperature time of the day pretty much everything you could possibly want on a digital portion of the gauges at least but now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality here a power moonroof coming with the sl trim level and up overhead sunglass holder for all trim levels across the board home link controls for up to three different garage doors i see those on the bottom portion of our frameless rear view mirror i love that setup dual zone climate control for all trim levels across the board auto dimming rear view mirror is going to come in the sl trim level and up wood tone trim for the sl trim level and up as well tri zoom climate control is going to be optional it's going to be where the rear passengers of course can set their own temperatures wireless phone charger though does come standard for every single trim level across the board and let me touch on that for a split second here because that's actually hidden you're probably not going to know where it is unless i'm going to tell you right now it's just underneath of the armada lettering found just underneath of the climate control vents there it's actually located just in front of the shifter so there's just a little button that you press it opens up and that is where the wireless phone charger is hidden so that's kind of interesting i don't know why they would hide it but they did but overall as far as interior quality goes nissan crushed it they absolutely crushed it i love the wood tone trim and that surrounds everything surrounding the cup holders here and the shifter and all of that that's probably my favorite part of this one so i like the saddle brown and the dark leather combination as well so everything maybe it's because it's a platinum trim level everything is finished very high quality so i'm a huge fan of the interior quality here in this one but so now let's go ahead and touch on the infotainment screen because this is massive it is a 12.3 inch color touchscreen display bluetooth and audio streaming does come standard android auto apple carplay factory navigation system actually comes standard 
standard for every single trim level, and it's pretty good too. It got me to this park that I've never been to before, so well done navigation system for doing that. Also, of course, you can check out your radio information up there, and so when it comes to the sound systems, there are two of them. You're gonna find six speakers for the SV, and then the SL trim level and up is gonna give you a 13 speaker Bose sound system. So of course, that is the one that we have today. So what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio. Let's see what we got playing this morning, and let's test out the clarity of this one. That's actually really good. There is a ton of bass with this particular sound system, as Nissan always does. The clarity was actually perfectly on point as well. And of course, it, with it being a Bose sound system, you know the credibility is behind it. That I've had Bose sound system. I actually had a Bose sound system in my Infiniti G35 Coupe when they first came out, and it never failed me. So amazing sound system for the Armada as well. But last thing I want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen, at least, is when you do put the Armada in reverse, you will find a rear view camera. Not the very most high quality rear view camera, I will say that, I've seen better quality for sure, but also a 360 degree monitor that bird's eye view for the SL trim level and up, letting you know what is completely all around you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so front side, side curtain airbags do come standard. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors to tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard, a driver attention monitoring system, adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, lane keep assist, forward collision warning, automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert and actually front and rear parking sensors coming standard as well. That's pretty cool because this is a bigger SUV. So I'm glad that it comes standard. But overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the Armada, great ride quality. This thing absorbed Frederick's road imperfections like it was nothing. Pretty darn good steering feel as well. I love that because it was on the heavier side of things. Incredible interior quality, in my personal opinion. I love the contrast leather colors. I like the wood trim as well. They did an amazing job at least maybe it's because it's the platinum trim level but great job with that as far as room for improvement goes it's not very fuel efficient of course as expected with a giant v8 but that's okay if you're buying the armada you're not necessarily looking for fuel efficiency and the other thing is it doesn't have quite as much space as the competitors so if you were to compare this because it is priced similarly to the chevy tahoe the ford expedition or even the toyota grand highlander they all have more cargo space than this Nissan Armada. So that's something as well. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the Armada in the comment section below. That is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen. If you wanted to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button. If you're into new car reviews, that is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.